Hi everybody, it's Anthony from ComicsHeatingUp.net. I'm back with Terry Hockness from HocknessComics.com. We're doing the new comic spec review video for June 14th, 2017. Before we get into the comic books, let's take a look at some of the news this week. Uh, first up, Tala Ash was cast as Isis on DC's Legends of Tomorrow TV show. Um, her first appearance was back in Shazam number 25, but this isn't her first time on television. She's had her own television show before, or Isis has had her own television show before, and she's also been on the Shazam TV show that was in the 70s, um, and also on Smallville. The big spoiler of the week was that Batman proposed to Catwoman in Batman number 24. That book quickly sold out at many comic shops. The other big spoiler of the week is Negan um, took back over of The Saviors and The Walking Dead, so it's going to be interesting to see how this shakes out. He's kind of taken a, a turn on being a good guy, so we don't know if he's still going to uh, maintain his uh, good guy appearance that he's had, or he's going to go back to his evil ways. It was reported on ComicsHeatingUp.net and many other sites that new comics are showing up on the Walmart shelves, and there's also a new DC magazine, so you're getting both Marvel Comics and DC magazines on uh, Walmart shelves. Walmart's definitely expanding into the comic market, and uh, hopefully they won't push into new issues and keep doing these back issues, because I'd hate to see uh, many comic shops in, in smaller regional areas be pushed out by Walmart. The big winner of the week seemed to be Spider-Man The Other One-Shot. This came out in 2007, so we're talking about a 10-year-old book. But mostly this blew up due to the fact that it uh, features Poison, which is uh, a Venom symbiote, um, which is featured on the cover of the 150 Del Auto Edge of Spider-Verse number one book. Um, it also possibly has the first appearance of a Venomized Gwen. It's definitely Gwen. It's definitely Venomized. But uh, she's also dead, so it's a zombie Gwen mixture venom thingy. Now that we've covered a couple of the big news stories this week, Terry, why don't you go ahead and get us started with the comics? All right, here's some of the uh, big picks of the week. These are all the regular covers I'm going to look at, all the new releases. And the first one that jumps out at me, actually, is Rock and Roll Biographies number 9 from Acme Inc. This is a really small publisher and they're doing a series of biographical comics on heavy metal bands and this issue is Metallica, one of the biggest bands of all time. Print run is going to be really small. Might not be the regular comic collector hunting this out but this could be a great long-term pick for fans of the band who in the long run are going to have difficulty finding copies of this book. Metallica has a huge following. This is a great crossover book. It's one of those books that you can probably throw up on eBay and be selling for years. You can throw it up on Amazon and catch people as well. Aftershock Comic gives us Jimmy's Bastards, and this is the latest from Garth Ennis, creator of Preacher. So there's always a lot of people watching his uh, newest work. So Print Run will be decent on this one. So watch this. This one has a chance. This is a very tongue-in-cheek James Bond type book where the spy in question, Jimmy, has sired children all over and those children are out to kill him now. There's a very cool uh, The Comic Mint foil variant out there. It's a gold foil variant over a black and white cover that looks really good. Check eBay for those. Image Comics gives us a new series, Kill the Minotaur. And this one, of course, is going to sell out. Print runs have been, you know, steady. Not overly big, not overly small. So, but this one seems to have as good a chance as any other Image ongoing series coming out. Also, Winnebago Graveyard number one's out this week. I had a chance to read the first issue early on, and this is a good book. Um, it reads like a Rob Zombie horror film. It's very uh, satanic and uh, over the top. Um, once you see the visuals on this, uh, I think if you're a horror fan, especially if you like, um, the, like the Rob Zombie films, I, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with this one. And possibly the most hyped up big book of the week is Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows number 8 from Marvel Comics. This is the new Mary Jane Venom appearing in this issue. And uh, there's going to be a lot of buzz for this, variant covers and all of that. And of course this, if they do something big with the character, this could be a really big long-term book. Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows number 8 introduces a venomized Mary Jane. Uh, she appears on both the regular Ryan Stegman cover and the Clayton Crane variant. The Clayton Crane variant is sold out at Midtown. That's kind of a good sign for the book. And Scout Comics gives us Mindbender number 2 and Solar Flare number 3. So these have been really small print runs and fairly popular indie books. So watch out for these. Might be hard to find. There's a ton of variants out this week. First up, if you're an Adam Hughes fan, you definitely want to check out uh, Betty and Veronica number three. The regular cover features an Adam Hughes uh, Betty, and the variant cover is an Adam Hughes Veronica. 
Uh, these are both cover price books, but they look great if you're an Adam Hughes fan. These are definitely pickups. These are one of those books that you can get signed and flip really easy. Great looking covers. There's a couple of theme variants also to look at. The Spawn covers continue with Manifest Destiny number 29. There's a black and white and a color on this one. Great looking cover. We get quite a few Mary Jane covers this week. Uh, first off is all new Wolverine number 21. Um, you also get Deadpool 32, which uh, features an Elizabeth Torque cover. Gwenpool 17 features a David Nakayama cover. Hawk 7 has one. X-Men Blue number 5 has one. And the big one for the week is the Venom 151 Matina Venomized Mary Jane cover. With Mary Jane um, being venomized in Renew Your Vows this week, this is definitely one to pick up. Marvel has a few sold-out variants on Midtown as well. Just selling out at Midtown doesn't mean that it's necessarily going to be a hot book, but when these books sell out early, that means there's definitely a demand for it. Up first is the Old Man Logan number 25 Tom Grummet homage cover. Um, it's a really great looking cover, and there's also a Mike Diodato teaser variant that people are going nuts over. We mentioned the Venomized cover for All-New Wolverine 21, but there's also a Leonard Kirk variant that features Gabby and Deadpool on the cover. Gabby is one of the four surviving clone sisters. Um, she's a really fascinating character, and it's definitely worth picking up this cover if you see it cheap. And anything else out this week, I mentioned here on my chart where I rank everything from 1 to 10. 10 is the highest, most likely to sell out. And you'll see I mostly give 3, 4, and 5s. All right, guys, that's it for us this week. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, please hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out. Leave us a comment. If you're watching on comicsheatingup.net, also leave us a comment on what you're specking on this week.